Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sukhbir Singh from Kingsville ISD. I'm a central office employee. I'm a dean of instruction for schools. I will be showing you a short video on how to access your Google Classroom and sign up and access your assignments and quizzes assigned by your teacher. So first thing first, let's go to uh, share my Google page. So if you will search Google, this is what you will look, this will look like. And then on your very right, you will see that there is a sign in button. So click on the sign in. That's the first thing. You will type your email, which I have my email. My password is already here. So click on your password. And this is what you look like. On the very right, you will see the photo of your or your child. And, and then next to it, that means you're logged in. But next to it, you have a, a waffle sign or three by three uh, little dots. Those are called Google Apps. If you click on Google Apps, all these apps are available to you. Google Classroom, Maps, YouTube, Google Search, Play, Gmail, Drive. But I tell you, the Gmail, Drive, and Google Classroom is very important for your child. So let's click on the Google Classroom. When you click on Google Classroom, these are two class classes already assigned to me. So I, I'm here acting like a student. So here on the right, on the right, you see the plus sign. If you hover on it, you see it shows create or join. If you click, you will click join because you are a student. And then the teacher will uh, share a password and a username with you. And once you type that username and password, the join sign will show up. So you click on the join. And here are here is the class. If you click on the very left, those three lines, and you click on classes, you can see all your classes. So I'm going to go through a short PowerPoint with you all. So to talk about the Google Classroom and a few other things. So welcome to KISD, Google Classroom training for parents and teachers. As we go through, I'll be showing you Google what Google Classroom um, is. So Google Classroom is a platform that incorporates Google Core G Suites. All these apps I showed you on the under the waffle. So when you click on that three by three Google apps on the corner, you will see all the apps. How do you set it up? I showed you students get an email invite from their teacher with a link or a code. I already put my code in because I already had a code from my teacher and then you join the class. They will be directed to the Google Classroom. Now make sure that you have a school uh, email ID or account. Can you use Google Classroom at home? Yes, you can use Google Classroom anywhere as long as you download the Google Classroom app. Can I communicate with my teacher, uh, with my, my child can with her, his teacher? Yes, as long as teacher wants to use Google Classroom to communicate with the child and they will send you the invitation. So make sure that you have an account and you are signed up and then uh, will go from there. So let me show you a few more things. So that was the one thing. So when you are in a Google Classroom, I showed you your waffle. I showed you how to join it. But then look at what you have. You have upcoming events here on the left. You have a stream, which is all this information from your teacher coming to you. Under the classwork tab, you have all the classwork assigned. If it's gray, that means already turned in. If it's still color, you still need to turn it in. On your left, you see the quizzes and the uh, all the lessons or the topics. I'm going to go back to this and show you there are three classes. So on the very top of your classes, you also see there's a to-do list and a calendar. So if you click on your calendar, you see all the assignments assigned to you. So I will suggest that you always open your calendar and look at what assignments um, are due 
or what the assignment needs to be done. Uh, going back again, uh, under my to-do list also, I will have what is due this week, like tomorrow this is due at 11.59. So this is for one class. If you go to your, um, let's say I go to my this class, and I go to my work, and then I can view your work here also. Under your work, you can see what is turned in and what is still assigned. And on the side, you see assigned, returned, and missing. I always suggest that if something is returned, you should uh, complete the task, return to you, and turn it in. So let's say we Google training one is not turned in. So let's see what the details are. So here we go. So this is, this is submitted already. See that? You can always go back and unsubmit and add, or you can remove what you submitted and, or, and then you can add a new file. You can make a correction. And this is very important for you to learn how to um, add a file. So there's the options. You have a recent file. These are the files that I've been uploading. You can go to my drive. You have a lot of information here. You can always load it. Or you can go to upload and find material from your uh, computer. So let's say we upload this picture or this lesson. You can take a picture of your work and load it. Once it's loaded, then you can always turn in. You can definitely add more work. You can go to Google Drive, link. You can go to Docs, create a new document, make some slides, use sheets like Excel, or do some drawings. So you can definitely do more work and add more lessons, um, uh, yeah, the pages or the assignments. So once you click turned in, it is turned in within the time frame when you are assigned, and now you're good to go. So if I go back to my uh, to-do list, I will see, you know, some of the work is assigned from that class. My chap, my, this is my period two. I can look at what is due. One more thing, if it's not highlighted, that means you have um, turned in, not, not turned in. Like if it's gray, that means you turned in. And if it's colored, that means you're not turned in. Like this assignment is not turned in. For one, two, three, four, these are all turned in. So we, different ways to look at uh, what, your, uh, what your assignments are. So I hope you will learn how to do, um, use the Google Classroom. Um, I will let you uh, play with it and learn more from it. Please let us know if we can do anything else to help you. Uh, contact us at your convenience. Um, and I wish you best of luck for the year and I uh, hope you will learn new learning, new styles with the, with the virtual learning. So thank you, take care, bye-bye.